This is a first look at this Bell Super Air R. Is it going to compare or be better than a full size helmet? Will it be lighter? Is it more protected? Uh, just keep watching if you want to learn more about it. Now, like I said, this is a first impressions and and unboxing, I guess. So this is the Bell Super Air R, and this is my first impressions of it. It's not a review. I won't be doing many reviews on this channel anymore. They're gonna be completely different. The whole channel is changing up in 2020, and yeah, just look forward to that. So let's move this janky stuff out of here and do a little first impressions of this helmet. I actually, that was like a raw unboxing. If anybody here is interested in that, then there you go. I, I don't know if unboxing videos still exist on YouTube, but I just did one and that was live. I couldn't be too uh, excited about opening this thing up, but there you go. Anyways, you saw pretty much what came in the box, and it's not a lot. Pretty much a box inside of a box, and there's just a few little tags, and looks like we have some cheek pads and the GoPro mount, which actually I want to see how that feels, because uh, the way that this channel is moving in 2020, I won't be using a GoPro quite as much, and it'll be just supplement footage rather than full-on ride footage so look out for that it's gonna be a really fun year and I'm excited to show everybody what's to come on the channel just to there's a little M shape here on the bottom and then on the bottom of this it has an M shape as well I'm not really doing anything crazy with this video I just wanted to show you unboxing because there's not many videos of this helmet on YouTube quite yet I'm sure there will be but yeah it feels really good extremely light and i'll go get my other bell helmet to compare it to but the 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 proof is in the numbers and just feeling it i want to make sure that it's in the frame just feeling it it feels feels really modern like just the way everything is put together it feels like some sort of weird space helmet and i know you're probably just waiting for me to put it on so let me just do that before we before we start anything else. It does feel a bit strange to pop those in and a little bit quirky. Let's see here. Whoa, it feels really weird. It just feels weird. Okay, it's starting to feel better. Oh, what the heck? What the heck? 
man. Are you kidding me? Look at this thing. It feels so odd putting it on because there really isn't anything going on in here other than just some plastics. It feels like it's almost missing something in a way. Um, but hey, it's it's rated for trail riding. It's not downhill rated, but it feels like it feels very open, which is crazy. Um, it, it's really awesome. Putting it on feels kind of awkward because there's so much space. And if you're used to riding like a heavier helmet, then this is going to feel weird at first. My ears are completely open and I have no pressure on my ears at all, which is a huge plus. Um, feels super airy. Almost feels like I'm wearing a trail helmet, just like a half shell, with just a bit of support back in this region of my head. I feel a little bit of weight here, but on my cheeks and on like my ear areas where you would normally have issues with a full face helmet, I can't even feel it really. It's like kind of, it's kind of like a sensation that is unexplainable unless you wear one of these. I was going to order the Bell Super 3R and if you have one of those it's probably a similar experience where it almost just feels like it's like levitating on your head and yeah feels pretty cool let's go ahead and let's go ahead and uh, try pulling the, the lower chin bar off of it and I'll show you what it looks like as a trail helmet how's my hair does it look all right so these little hinges, they don't feel all that, uh, all that great, to be honest. And it's one of the things that I don't love about it so far, just on immediate impressions. But we'll see how they hold up. They just feel a little bit like they're, there's too much, uh, too much resistance in them. Like whenever I go to pop these out of the helmet. Maybe it'll loosen up a bit. So much to uh, Cammy's disapproval, she's going to be doing a first impressions of how light this thing is. Wow. It literally weighs nothing. It feels like. <laughs> Look at the camera. Oh. <laughs> it's super light. Like it literally feels like nothing. Don't put it on, you freak. Oh. Now try that that one. Hold that one. You think? Like this one feels like styrofoam. Right. It's like, like kind of blow away. like <laughs> kind of weird. Yeah. But yeah, so I put Cami on the spot. She doesn't love doing that, but sometimes it's nice to have her opinion on things like this because it's very like straightforward. But I would not use it on a full downhill run. Like that's how light it is. It's not. It doesn't feel like it would hold up as well at, or hold up at all compared to like a full size helmet. So just keep that in mind. I personally, I would not, I would not use this on like a downhill trail, but I guess you could get away with it. I'd much rather use this other full, you know, this is a full sized helmet. And even though it's not downhill rated, I would still rather wear this because it feels a lot better, like more substantial. So this is what it looks like in trail mode. And it's not quite as comfortable as my standard trail helmet, which is the Giro fixture. It's like a similar trail helmet. Actually, it has like a little bit of a weird, um, a weird pressure on the back here, which I don't love, but I'll probably get used to it once I wear this helmet enough. Let's dissect what that actually is. I guess it's, there's some, right back here, there's some support right here. Uh, I think it's part of the MIP system and it kind of cradles your head. Some people really like that feeling and other people don't. So I guess that will just depend on how you ride and what you like. Now, like I said, this is a first impressions and and unboxing, I guess. So this is the Bell Super Air R, 
and this is my first impressions of it. It's not a review. I won't be doing many reviews on this channel anymore. They're going to be completely different. The whole channel is changing up in 2020 and yeah, just look forward to that. Anyways, back to this thing. The chin bar uh, just alone feels, it feels weird to be honest. Like if I'm being 100% honest, like this is not meant to protect you in a, an extreme fall. It probably will resist one impact on the chin, but if you were to fall on this once, then you probably, you really shouldn't use this again if you fall on it once. Whereas I've fallen on this on my head before and I know you're supposed to, you know, get rid of your helmet, but there's certain helmets that just, you know, they feel substantial and if you impact them once, you know, what are you, what am I gonna do, throw it away? I, it, it's, it feels very secure still. Whereas this one, if I dropped it on the ground, I would be worried about it. <laughs> so that's just my opinion off, off a whim, firsthand, and I'm a little bit more straightforward and realist uh, with, my, with my beliefs. So that's kind of where I sit with this. I really love this helmet for light trail riding, especially in Florida. If you live in Florida, this is a great helmet for if you want to wear a full face helmet, but you don't want to ride one that's like a substantial full face, then this is definitely the one. It looks way better than the Bell Super 3R, and it's apparently more protective. I, I have no experience with the 3R, but this one feels super light. I'm gonna try putting this on without taking the helmet off. One of the things that I'm also worried about is pulling this thing apart like this because it's kind of like, have, has anybody ever broken a wishbone, like a chicken wing or whatever bone it is and it's just the wishbone, it's like a Y. This is what it feels like. If you just crack this thing a little bit too hard, it would break for sure. And I'm not bad mouthing the helmet or anything like that. I'm just, let's see if I could, where does it go? This is a dry run of this. It's difficult to put on even without it on your head. All right, Bell. This is a little bit extreme here. Um, really don't need a, this is like, this could be a cape but probably would benefit from having just a quick start guide because, the, I, okay, so there is, there is a small quick start guide on this little tiny square here, but really need more information than that, to be honest. Is this helmet super light? Yes. Have the engineers accomplished an amazing feat and design and safety? Absolutely. Does it feel a little bit undergunned for certain aspects of mountain biking? Definitely. This helmet is going to be great for light trail riding. If you live in some elevation, ride it on your, your standard trails. If you're pedaling a lot of the time, then this helmet is gonna be great for you. If you're not pedaling and you're going downhill a lot of the time, then maybe you wanna to upgrade to the Super DH, which is the big brother of this helmet also has the, uh, the downhill rating, but it's up to you. I've just told you what I've felt up front firsthand with this helmet. In Florida, it's a great helmet because, you know, we don't have any downhill. We're, we have maybe one or two flow trails that you might get in some trouble with, but aside from that, you're pedaling around. If you want full protection of your, if you're, of your head and of your eyes, of your face, then this is great for you. Also, if you want that GoPro mount, then this is integrated into the helmet. You don't have to worry about a GoPro mount. Then it's awesome. It just depends on what you're looking for. For me, this is a perfect fit for Florida and for light trail riding whenever I go up to North Carolina and the Southeast because I'm not hitting downhill trails. If I were, if I were doing that and whenever I move up that way, I will be getting a more certified helmet that feels more substantial than this. Until then, 
that is it. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to go out there and create your own adventure however you can. Spread some positivity. See you later in 2020. New channel coming soon.